Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will cover how to run pre-trained state-of-the-art object detection model YOLO version 4 on latest TensorFlow and TensorFlow Lite, which is used in mobile devices and Raspberry Pi. I will be covering how you can convert standard darknet YOLO v4 weights to TensorFlow and TF Lite models and will run object detection on images, videos and webcams. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start by heading over to this GitHub repository. A little disclaimer here, I have forked this uh, repository from this user. So all credits to the original user. I have made some modifications to make it work with TensorFlow 2.3. Okay, so first what we wanna do is that we want to clone this repository to our local machine. So you can just uh, copy this link and fire up your anaconda prompt and then head over to your folder and then just uh, type git clone and paste that link here and press enter this will clone the complete repository to your local machine alternatively you can just go here and download zip file and then extract that and Either way, you will have this folder in your local machine. And there are a bunch of files here. Okay, so let's go back to our repository. And first of all, uh, we will be setting up our environment and it can be done either using Conda or pip. I recommend that you use Conda. And then we will convert pre-trained YOLO version 4 to TensorFlow and run object detection on that and we'll also convert it to tf lite so tf lite basically can be used for mobile devices such as android or iphone or even on raspberry pi and we'll convert to tf lite and run object detection on tf lite model and at the end we will do some frame per second or fps comparisons between original darknet version opencv version and tensorflow version of YOLO 4. So let's start by setting up the environment. So if you choose to set up environment using pip, uh, you will have to install CUDA and CUDEN on your system and for which you can find the tutorial here. But if you choose to set up the environment using Conda, the Conda will do that for you. Uh, so it will install the compatible CUDA and CUDEN version automatically. I have GPU, so I am going to set up GPU environment. So let's copy that. And before we do that, let me just quickly show you what conda-gpu and conda-cpu.yml files have. So let's open these. Okay, so CPU version basically sets up tf-cpu environment and installs all the dependencies and installs CPU version of TensorFlow 2.3.1, which is the latest version at the moment. And similarly, if we look at conda-gpu.yml, it sets up tf-gpu environment and it installs TensorFlow GPU version 2.3.1. So that's the main difference and it also installs the CUDA and CUDEN for you. So you do not have to do anything. Okay, so that's the main difference between two files. So let's uh, head over to our cloned repository, which I already have done. Copy this command and just paste it. So it will install all the dependencies and will create a virtual environment called tf-gpu. And once that is done, what you want to do is you want to activate it. So, so let's activate the tf-gpu environment. And here we have it. So next what we want to do is that we want to download weights file, yolo v4.weights. So we can uh, download from the original repository uh, or we can also download from the Google uh, Drive mirror. And if you want to use tiny version, you can you should download uh, YOLO for tiny.weights file instead. 
so i am going to download this original file so i already have it with me so i'm just gonna copy that and paste it inside data folder okay so that is done so what's next let's go to our repository so this is the command which uh, lets you convert your yolo v4.weights file to tensorflow checkpoint so i'll break it down for you so we are calling save model.py and then we are giving it path to our uh, yolo.weights file which we just copied and it's inside data folder and we want the checkpoint of tensorflow inside uh, checkpoints folder and we are giving it a name yolo v4-416 and 416 is basically uh, the size of images on which the yolo v4 is trained so normally yolo version 4 is uh, trained on 416 by 416 images and at the end we are telling it that we are using yolo v4 you can also use yolo v3 so for that you will have to change it to yolo v3 and you will also have to provide yolo v3 dot weights file which you can download from the original uh, repository of darknet and you can find the uh, weights file here so there they are so you can download these files instead and use YOLO v3 but I recommend that you use YOLO v4 because it's um, faster and it's more accurate than YOLO v3 okay so just copy this command and uh, head back to your anaconda prompt and just paste it here so it will convert uh, your YOLO v4 darknet weights file to tensorflow and it's gonna take some time I'll get back to you once that is done Okay, so once that is done, you will see this message that assets are written to your checkpoints folder. So let's head over there and verify that. We have checkpoints folder and there is YOLO v4.4.16 folder and we have save model.pb file. Okay, so if you want to uh, use tiny version, you will have to issue this command and notice that at the end we have uh, minus minus tiny flag so we are telling the script that we are using tiny model so it's going to um, modify the outputs accordingly okay so next step is that we want to run yolo version 4 on images so we'll issue this command this basically takes just one image and if you want to run on multiple images you will have to issue this command and it the only difference between these two commands is that it takes minus minus image and it takes minus minus images and then list of uh, file names here. And if you are using tiny, you will be issuing this command. So let's do this for just single image and copy this command and paste it on our terminal. And there we have it. The results of object detection so this is kite and this is the confidence score of detecting this kite and for persons and everything even it detects the, this tiny person in the sea as well so this was for images and if we want to run on videos we will have to issue this command and i will break it down for you so we are telling it that the weights file is located on this location and it has 416 by 416 images size and the model is yolo version 4 and input video is inside data folder and it's called japan.mp4 and the detections should be saved inside detections folder and the name of video file would be video output.avi so let's issue this command and see if we have this file in the output directory or not so copy that and paste it inside terminal and it would it will start object detection on japan.mp4 
you can change the video file path as per your likings so the japan.mp4 is already included inside this repository there it is so it's almost real time but fps is kind of low which we can observe so with more powerful gpus you will have faster fps okay so this has taken 22.8 seconds and we achieved 11.58 fps so on the same video we ran original darknet version and open cv version of yolo 4 and we were achieving 9.96 fps on open cv version and 13.5 fps on darknet version so on tensorflow version we are just getting 11.58 so darknet is faster up till now so i recommend that you build that and use this one for your production let's head back to our commands and if you want to run the object detection on webcams you can issue this command so the only difference between this one and the video one is that uh, in video path you are just giving zero which is your webcam number and rest of the things are exactly the same so it will if you copy this command and paste it in terminal it will run real-time object detection on your webcam now we want to convert the yolo v4 to tf light so benefit of tf light is that you can use the this lightweight version on raspberry pi or on android devices so for that we will first have to convert yolo v4 dot weights to a tf light compatible version of tensorflow so we are giving the flag of tf light at the end so framework is now changed so let's copy this one and again paste it here okay so once that is done what we want to do now is that we want to convert this checkpoint to tensorflow light so if you issue this command it will convert uh, this checkpoint to tf light without any quantization so it will approximately be of same size as original file so let's copy that and let me show you what i mean okay so that is done so let's head back to our folder and see what's inside checkpoints now so we have yolo v4 dot tf light and it's 250 mb in size which is approximately the same as the original model so let's now do the quantization and we have two types of quantization one is float 16 and other one is integer 8 so I usually prefer uh, float 0.16 because that is a good trade-off between speed and accuracy and int 8 is less accurate as compared to FP16. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. So you can even see the comparison of int 8 with the original one. So this person is not detected in int 8 version so let's do fp16 and paste it here and it will give you a quantized version of tf light file okay so this process is also complete head back to this folder you can see that now we have fp16 tf light file which is half in size than that of original tf light file so we can use it in android or raspberry pi so if you notice in this repository there is a folder called android and it has code for android application which you can utilize with tf light model for object detection on your android phone 
so we will cover that in one of our future videos but if you want to go ahead of time and try that out uh, do check out this folder as well okay so now let's use df light model on our image so i don't recommend using uh, df light on videos because that will be using cpu and it will give you one to two frames per second but if you are on mobile device then you can use uh, gpu of that mobile device so let's run this command on image uh, same kite.jpg so the only difference is that now we are telling the model that uh, our framework is tf light so copy that and paste in here and there we have it so using tf light model we are able to get same results as original tensorflow model okay so you can also convert it to tensor rt if you have high end computing machines and you can also evaluate on original coco 2017 data set we are not going to cover that so that's it if you think you have learned something of value today hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified about the future updates see you next time